Hey guys, good morning. It's me once again. Today I will gonna teach you on how to propagate your Equisetum Yemail or common name as the Scoring Rush Horsetail or best known as the Horsetail. Like this. <laughs> Did you know? that the Equisetum Yemel or the Scoring Rush Horsetail is a single surviving genus that dates back 350 million years. Wow! Imagine that! This is a living fossil. Maybe it is uh, older than humanity itself there are four methods on how to propagate your equisetum yemel or the scoring rush horsetail so number one method is the direct cutting number two is the branching number three is by roots or rooting and the number four is by submerging so there you have so let us start on how to propagate the equisetum yemel so we are going to cut our equisetum yemel or the scoring rush uh, horsetail so let's go This we will gonna use to cut to propagate by branching like this and we will gonna take this and we can propagate this by using the method of branching. So we need more like this and I will teach you later on on how to propagate the Equisetum Yemel by branching and by direct, direct cutting. So I will teach you now on how to propagate the horsetail using the direct cutting method so this is how I do it so we cut how many pieces of horsetail and we will gonna make sure that we will gonna bury this in the soil deeper than this because most likely the roots will come out in here so let us plant this already first we will gonna make a hole maybe we will gonna plant maybe about just two or one This, this horse tail, the photosynthesis or the oxygen takes place on this, on its branch it's because it do not has leaves and it is also good for indoor plants for outdoor plants 
and you can also put uh, decorations or for your aquatic ponds it's also very good but please do not plant this directly on the soil because it can reproduce very very quick so that's why we need to control on how to propagate this we need a pot like this or a bigger pot it can grow rapidly so that's why uh, we need to plant this in the pot okay <laughs> So, we are already done our first method and we will gonna, and, and, we, and I will gonna teach you the second method, the branching method. So, we are going on our second method, the branching method. This is the example of the branch of the horsetail and we can take this and we can use this also to propagate the horsetail plant so let us start we will also gonna put some holes because most likely the roots will come out in here so we will gonna plant this deeper in the ground of this path maybe we can put maybe around three or four Imagine that the horse tail plant has around 4.5 million years ago. And maybe it is older than us so it is more likely a living fossils imagine that growing fossils in your backyard Anyways, we are already done. So this is on how to plant our second method. It is the branching method. So we are going in our third method, the roots or by rooting method. 
we are on our third method the propagating using by roots or by rooting so let us start The horsetail plant is so very very durable because it can stand under water. If under water, the horse horsetail plant can grow about six foot long and. In the ground about four foot long it is also good for indoors plant because it can stand without sunlight so it is good inside your home or inside your office and you can water this maybe around just two times a week so it is very very good plants indoor as well as out outdoor so we are already done planting our third method using the roots or rooting so we are going to our fourth method the last method is by submerging okay so we are on our last method the fourth method the submerging method remember on my previous video about cutting this glass and using this horse tail for decoration and look what happened after a month the roots has start growing and it is very very amazing because it lasted maybe around one month inside our house so even without roots it can strive without sunlight and look how amazing this plant is so let us plant this already maybe we can put around three or four branches at the same time this plant is very very amazing because it can strive almost everywhere You can use any different kind of soil and it doesn't need too much sunlight. And you can even 
water this look at this roots and it is already growing some new branches and you can water this maybe around two times a week but please do not plant this in the garden directed to your in your soil because it can gen it can generate so quickly or maybe you cannot control the growth of these plants or maybe you cannot even er eradicate this because it can grow so very very fast so there you have it's another a very good informative videos so please click the notification bell and subscribe to my channel and please always remember this this is your channel the plant channel